Soil horizons are the different layers found in a soil profile. A soil profile is a vertical cross-section of the soil in an area, and it generally reaches from the surface down to the bedrock. There are a few major horizons that are typically classified. These are A, B, C, O, E, and R horizons. We'll look at each of these individually. If horizon O exists in a soil profile, it is at the very top. Horizon O is a layer of organic material, typically made up of dead leaves, surface organisms, twigs, sticks, or fallen trees. This horizon can show different stages of decomposition among the material that's found there. This horizon is often dark brown or black and is where the roots of small grasses are typically found. Horizon A is the layer found below Horizon O. Or if a particular soil does not have a Horizon O, it exists at the top of the surface. This horizon is commonly referred to as topsoil and is made of a mixture of sand, silt, and clay. This horizon is usually high in organic material and is often called the root zone. Horizon A is also susceptible to wind and water erosion. Horizon E is often found below the O and A horizons. It is usually a lighter color than the previous horizons that have been mentioned and is often high in nutrients which have been leached from horizons O or A. This layer usually has a lower clay content than those above it. And E horizons are common in areas with well-defined O and A horizons, such as forests. B horizons are typically found below O, A, and E horizons. This layer may contain high levels of iron, aluminum, silicates, clay, and carbonates. And it is often called the alluviation zone because of the high concentration of minerals. Horizon B is also where the roots of large trees end. Horizon C is often made up of broken bedrock, and it contains no or very little organic material. Horizon R is the bedrock, and it is often cemented and compacted together. This is typically made up of granite, limestone, or basalt. It's very important to note that not all soils in all areas contain all of these horizons. In fact, the horizons that are found in each area will vary greatly from location to location throughout the United States and throughout the world. So these are recognized as general horizons that can often be found in soils, but they vary depending on the location and the characteristics of that area.